Hello, lovely viewers. You're watching my Polar Opposite. I'm your guy, Tim Cohen. Today, I am going to be talking to you about my favorite holiday movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation! Okay, who out there loves this movie? Uh, I, I don't know why I just did that. I can't help any of you raising your hands if you even bother raising your hands. Just, there are people who love this movie. So, basically it follows Clark Griswold dealing with the in-laws on a holiday from hell. But, let's not do a summary of the movie. Let's talk about my five favorite moments of the movie. Okay? If you haven't seen the movie, oh well. If you have, great. But if you want to, see the movie. It's hysterical. Alright. Favorite number five. Well... Clark Griswold's boss screws everyone in the company over, but instead of a Christmas bonus, gave him a Jelly of the Month subscription for a year. Which, as Cousin Andy observes, is a gift that keeps on giving the whole year round. Now, Clark, he wanted to build a pool in the backyard. He had already made the deposit, so not getting this Christmas bonus was a real slap in the face, so he screwed. So, basically... He goes into a tirade saying he'd like to have his boss, Frank Shirley, taken over his rich mansion, brought into his living room with a big bow on him. Now, those are basically the basic polite points I could say from his whole tirade, but cousin law Eddie says, thinks, you know what, this is what he wants, so he goes and does exactly what Clark wants. Now, of course, this brings Creed out in charge and everything, oh, hell, but, mm. Okay, moment number four, the squirrel chase. Okay. My regulars know that I am terrified of squirrels. So why do I enjoy the squirrel chase scene in the movie? Well, because it's so absurd. I mean, they get the tree, and a squirrel comes out and chases them all the way through the house. I mean, come on, that's just so absurd. It's funny. I mean, jumps out of the tree in the land by the knee. What's that sound? It sounds like a squeaking sound. Ugh. Now, if I were in that movie and a squirrel chasing me out of the house, yes, I would die of a heart attack, but still watching it, well... It's just so funny, and then the end where Julia Louis Dreyfus op knocks on the door, the door opens, the squirrel lands on her, and then the dog snot jumps on her and takes her down. So that, that's a funny ending. Number three, the turkey dinner. Okay, now, I've had bad turkeys before, but this, well, this turkey, they made it look nice, coping, <laughs> deflated. Now, that was just so absurd that the turkey just deflated. But, it gets better from there. They're all chewing on the turkey bone here. Clack, 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 because the turkey wasn't cooked right, so... I mean, that was just so absurd. Moment number two. When the solar gas explodes, and the Aunt Bethany splotches into the National Anthem. Just goes on, just right in because of the explosion, the ring arrives in the air, and she sings the National Anthem. And by the time she comes to the end, everyone in the whole movie is singing along. But... It's how she ended that without me the funniest. Play ball! That was just so absurd. And finally, the number one moment, which probably any heterosexual male would agree with me on this one, is the scene of, of Clark imagining the pool. And there's a hot woman in the pool. Now, at first it starts off as Cousin Eddie going on the diving board. But then it turns to that hot woman, and she takes off her bathing suit, and oh my god, any heterosexual male loves that moment. I mean, seriously, like, come on, who, what heterosexual male does not love that moment? Come on, that's any heterosexual male's favorite moment in the whole movie. Now, you know, why I got the movie, if you haven't seen the movie, well, mm, I recommend it. If not, well, your choice. I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do, so. Well, thanks, I'm coming. Out.